Let's start with one more question. Prove square root of 1 plus sin a over 1 minus sin a is equal to sec a plus tan a. So you can see that there is a square root given. We are discussing first time about this square root. So how to deal with this square root? Let's start. So let's write the R at LHS. LHS is equal to square root of 1 plus sin a over 1 minus sin a. Done. So here also we are going to take the help of rational numbers or irrational numbers you can say. We learn in grade 9 how to remove the square root, right? Same we are going to do. What I will be doing, I will be multiplying. Let me just extend the square root. In square root only I am going to do it. Conjugate of this, that is 1 plus sin a. And here also 1 plus sin a. So see into numerator, that is 1 plus sin a multiply by 1 plus sin a. That will be square of it, right? So in that case, it is square. So here and denominator 1 plus sin a whole square and denominator. What to do with the denominator? You can see it is in the form of a minus b and a plus b. So I'm going to write a square minus b square. So one square minus sin a whole square done so let's continue so 1 plus sin a whole square and 1 minus sin square a now here we are going to use the identity 1 minus sin square a remember which identity that will be what cos square a right so let's write one last time the square root okay then we are not going to write sin a whole square over cos square a right now let's remove the square root this numerator is in square form so square will be removed cos square a square will be removed so what will be the answer here it is 1 plus sin a over cos a done now let's divide this numerator with individual denominator so 1 over cos a plus sin a over cos a so 1 upon cos a is what sec a reciprocal ratios and sin a over cos a is what 10 a that is my rhs simple right so square root we removed first of all right with the conjugate 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a, it is square in numerator and in denominator it is identity which is a square minus b square then simplified we know that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 so i have substituted the value here 1 minus sin square a by cos square a done so here we need to do the remove the square root so if we remove square root that is 1 plus sin a and cos square a will be only cos a now we are going to give this denominator to individual numerator that is 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a 1 by cos a is sec a and plus s as it is and this will become tan a so that is our rhs this is how we do the sum related to square root let's discuss another sum prove that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta over 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta so let's start with the LHS first. So LHS is equal to sine theta minus 2 sine cube theta over 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to take common sine theta is here, sine cube theta is over here, cos cube theta is here and cos theta is here. So in numerator, I am going to take sin theta common. So what's left? If this whole term is coming out, there will be 1, then minus 2 as it is because numbers we are not taking common. Sin cube. So out of sin cube, if we take one sin, what's left? Sin square. Sin square theta. And denominator also I am going to do same. So let's take cos theta common and here 2 as it is. Now cos cube theta if you take 1 cos common that is 
cos square theta minus 1 because that whole term is coming out done now what to do you can see sin theta over cos theta will give you tan theta simple okay let's write tan theta so we are near to our answer but we need to eliminate these two terms then only not before that so what i'm going to do cos square theta is equal to i'm going to write 1 minus sin square theta right see we have relation that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so i'm going to replace only this cos square theta not 2 2 i cannot replace replace 2 is not there in the identity so cos square theta i will be writing 1 minus sin square theta so here it is 2 and bracket 1 minus sin square theta minus 1 close this bracket done so numerator add it as it is and here 1 minus 2 sin square theta done here let's multiply this 2 with each term 2 into 1 will be 2 minus 2 into sin square theta will be 2 sin square theta minus 1 now see there is 2 over here and minus 1 so 2 minus 1 will be 1 so 10 10 theta into 1 minus 2 sin square theta okay and denominator 2 minus 1 is what 1 minus 2 sin square theta now see 1 minus 2 sin square theta 1 minus 2 sin square theta i told you that we need to remove these two terms then our answer is already there so this will get cancelled and this term as well so what's left only which is 10 theta and that is our rhs let's recall how we did it sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta here i cannot use the algebraic identity of a cube minus b cube the reason behind that only one term is cube another is not so i've taken it common out from numerator and from denominator then you can see sin square theta cos square theta we cannot do anything but we can use the identity indirectly here sin over cos will give you 10 see on the rhs we want 10 then instead of cos square theta i have written as 1 minus sin square theta from the identity of sin square theta plus cos square theta so that's done replace open the bracket if you can simplify go ahead 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 minus 2 sin square theta numerator one term is common and denominator also one term is common so do cancellation and just write whatever is left which is 10 theta and that is our rhs